Citizens Coalition for Change CCC National Youth Task Force Administrator Pasha Sabanda has declared that if the government fails to reform, they will not hesitate to flood streets in Bulawayo. In a first show of force for the opposition party, Sabanda who accused government of using criminals and fraudsters to destabilize their opposition party, is part of the 14 members of parliament MPs who were recalled by imposter Sanjizo Chibangu. Chibangu claims to be CCC's interim secretary general and has maintained that all those he recalled had ceased to be members of the opposition outfit despite protestations from party president Nelson Chamisa. Speaking at a press conference in Bulawayo on Thursday, Sabanda said as long as government had not stopped machinations to destroy their party or made efforts to end the suffering of Zimbabweans. The streets would soon be their venue of the struggle. We want to put it clearly, without any fear or favor if the regime continues harassing our people, if the suffering of Zimbabweans continues as it is we will democratically, constitutionally peacefully hold them to account by any means necessary and unnecessary. Said Sabanda, we are ready to defend, we are ready to die for this country to make sure we defend the victory of our people. We are aware of ZANU-PF's agenda to steal the will of the people and undermine the role of the alternative in the country. We have noted fraudsters and criminals being used by the regime as political conduits to collapse the people's movement and aid a one-party state through illegal recalls. Sibanda was voted Cowdrey Park legislator in August beating Finance Minister Mthilin Cube by 1,800 in what was one of the plebiscite's key highlights. With the High Court ruling in his favor on the eve of the election, Shibangu ensured all those who were recalled could not contest on a CCC ticket meaning they could not reclaim their triumphs. Added Sibanda, We want to send a clear message to the regime to reform as a matter of urgency and let the will of the people be respected. Failure to do so, the streets shall be the avenue of our struggle.